Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another video in the How to Edit Wedding Photos series. You can watch more of these videos in the playlist on the channel. In today's preview edit, we take a look at Zeynep and Jacob, Beamish Hall. This was one of my favourite weddings of 2023, and two of these images actually appeared in Vanity Fair and Tatler Magazine. <laughs> Let's get over at the computer and take a look at the edits. Hi right, guys, so straight in, uh, here is the... I think it's 41 images of Zeynep and Jacob. You can sort of see venue shot, some bride prep, groom prep, dress details, first looks, down at the ceremony, bit of confetti outside, group shot, couple of portraits, uh, speeches, golden hour, few dance floor photos. So let's just jump straight in and get these edited. So that's how they are currently edited. So let's dive in reset and let's just see them reset so there they go and then let's just start at the beginning i've already put the ssd offline so we should be working with a good bit of speed let's have a look yeah it seems fine to me right let's crack on so obviously first thing let's apply the preset so i'm just gonna i'm gonna start with this one here just indoors and I can just sort of see them a bit better so let's press color so same as before let's go temperature one two tint one two temp a uh, tint big tint one of those again this might not apply for your preset to be able to do this but I've built mine in a way where I know it sort of needs a certain amount of temperature and tint on top of it my preset and then I can just batch edit very quickly as we're about to see okay it's the first image so to be honest that is nearly identical to what i had before so if i go back that's what i had before that's what i have now if anything it's it's a bit better now because it has a bit more highlight control i might add a little bit more warmth because it's outdoors and it's a sunny day so a bit magenta um oh but my bad I don't have power keys enabled. Let's enable that. So give me a second. It's just loading up and we're good to go. Right. Let's warm this puppy up in the magenta and I might bring the exposure down a bit. If I can straighten it to slight bit. Um, they were just having a ramp installed when I, uh, I photographed this wedding. So you can sort of see this red tape. I think in the original, I photoshopped this out or like use this clone tool. I think it did a reasonable job the last time I did it. It's getting so much better. I think in the next couple of versions of Lightroom, this will be as good as like content aware fill. It's from Adobe, so I can't see why they can't put content aware fill into Lightroom. It's the same program, pr pretty much or same suite of software um next image okay was this black and white yes so black and white i'm just pull that down a bit i'm just gonna add that subject pop onto zaynep it looks nice i might just pull the attention a bit i'm not quite keen on that black bit in the top left and then this black dot here is sort of detracting my eye anything that sort of detracts your eye should be getting rid of really Nice, this black bit here. I'm just cleaning the image up, really. Just crop it in a bit. Nice. Just draws all the attention on the Zaynep, which is lovely. Right, next one. Bridesmaid just putting on her shoes at the end of the hallway. So again, this made a nice black and white. I'm going to subject pop. So you sort of just saw that area light up. So it didn't just pick up a subject, but sort of lifted this entire area, which I'm here for it. Looks pretty good sort of want that area all lit up i may even just add something in myself as well so i'm just going to crop it down a little bit and get rid of this light i could just clone it out but it's fine let's see what the straighten tool does yeah that looks fine to me nice good stuff next image again sort of straight away you can see this is what it looked like before so it's cropped in a little bit um but pretty much the coloring is exactly the same you can sort of see I've gotten rid of the bag and the light switches. So let's just crop this in a little bit. I'm just going to pull the exposure down a bit. So I'm just looking at the highlights on Jacob's face. 
Um, probably needs a bit of magentas. Nice. And then let's do some chlorine. So we're going to get rid of the light switch a little bit there. Go a bigger brush. It's just a bit patchy, honestly. So nice not having to go into Photoshop for this type of thing anymore. I'm just going to, still a bit patchy. Let's see if we can clear that up a little bit better. I'm getting there. I'm sort of happy with that. There's like time. Let's see if we can get rid of this thicker line here. Let's take this bit out. Right, that'll do. I'll just crop up a little bit. Okay, it's not too bad. So if we sort of have a look at what we had before. So we had that. So you can still sort of see the patch on the wall. That's fine. But if you didn't know it was there, you, you, you wouldn't know. That looks pretty good. Let's have one more look at what it looked like before. Yeah, the crop's nearly bang on. Um, I'd obviously just cropped in a little bit tighter. So that looks pretty good to me. Nice. Let's go. Oh, let's go before and after. Nice. Let's move on. Again, this is pretty much exactly how it was. So that was it before. So it's probably a little bit on the brighter side actually. And then this is it now. So just cropped in slightly. It was probably just to take out the end of her ear. Just to straighten it up basically. And then I'm going to add a bit of warmth back in. So that looks nice. So let's have a look. So we're nearly identical. So it's just adding that nice colour in that we that, I'm, that I use now. Which is... I always like to edit on the warmer side. Um... I know some people might think my images have a bit too much magenta in, which that's totally fine. But I would argue I see so many photographs where they're just green. Um, so each to their own, I suppose. Right, sharpen. Um, so that was it before. Again, it's probably on the green side that actually. So looks much better now. I'm just going to bring the exposure up a little bit. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's have a look. So this was just a black and white before. So tempted to go keep it in colour. But let's sort of stick with what we had. So I'm just going to pull this all down. Um, let's see if we can get rid of this bag. Not bad. Uh, might just crop it in slightly. Pull it down. Lush. Right, let's do a subject pop onto the girls. I don't want it on Zeynep. So I'm going to get rid of that with a gradient and then just pull the entire image down I might even have to just put a little bit of a highlight pull on to Zeynep in the corner here just all the whites in the veil and then I'm going to draw a burn around this here's the focus so she's went dark but I want it to be inverted so I'm just going to invert that mask there we go and just pull that attention into the subject so if I turn that on and off so it just pulls the subject, the eye, towards the, the girl who has the expression. So that's nice. Like that. Next image. Again, anything with emotion tends to look better in black and white. So if we have a look at what we had before, it was just black and white cropped in. So let's go black and white and crop it in. Pull the exposure down a bit. Again, this would look nice in, in colour as well. Do you know what? I might leave that in colour actually. Add a bit more warmth. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little pop to the, the bridesmaid. Subject pop off. On. So before and after. Looks nice to me. Okay, dad comes in. It's always helpful when a bridesmaid or a parent says, I'll open the door for dad. But I really don't want them to really. So then this image would be so much better without the bridesmaid there. Um, and... All the clutter on the bed. Let's, yeah. Let's see what it looked like before. So, colour straightened up, basically. If, I feel if the bridesmaid wasn't there, I'd probably go for a tight crop and try and get rid of some of that junk on the bed. And I would, I might even still, I might just go to this sort of crop. And just try and, there's no need to have all that rubbish in the, uh, in the shot, basically. I'm sure I, Bit of a Adobe content aware fill, a generator fill might get rid of that bridesmaid, but I'm not going to. Um, right, let's see if we can burn down the bottom of the dress and her arm and the flowers. Don't want it affecting his face. I'm just going to pull that back a tiny bit. So let's turn that on and off and have a look. Yeah, just bottom of the frame was just far too bright. Let's just bring her up a tiny bit. Right. 
Uh, it's a bit of a radiator or something here in the corner. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's not doing the best job today. Let's have a little look. Oh, that was a bit better. One more little line. Yeah, we'll go. Right, before, after, and again, we sort of had this beforehand. So it actually looks way better now. I've gotten rid of the light switch, uh, the radiator, all the junk on the bed. So it's a much cleaner photograph. So I'm, I might see if I can bring it down a tad, just to include a bit more of Zainab's bow. There we go, it's nice. Just gonna pull the left a little bit. Cool. Let me just switch my radiator off, because I'm getting a bit warm. Lovely. Right, happy with that image. Might pull the exposure down a little bit. Next image. So I'm pretty positive this was a black and white. It was, it was. Let's see what it looks like in colour. So I might just keep it in colour. Nice. So I'm just going to add in some warmth and then I'm probably just going to do a subject pop just to lift them up a little bit and then pull the exposure back. Okay, so before, I should have probably shot that a little bit under and just watch the highlights a little bit. I mean, totally fine, they're there. It's not like it's totally blown out, but I should have just shot that slightly bit better. That looks nice. Just pull it up a little bit. Tiny bit of magenta, I think. Just one touch. Nice. And then... We're pretty much putting the same thing onto this one, so I'm going to paste previous and then pretty much good to go there, weren't we? Nice, that looks lovely. So, let's have a look at what it was like before. So, it's probably just been straightened and then, yeah. So, let's straighten that up, straighten, and then let's just fix that. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. So, this window frame up here is annoying me a little bit, so I wonder if I can crop it down. Nice. Let's have a look before and after. Oh, where are we at? So that was it before. That's it now. So I don't think the transform's actually doing much. I wanted to try and rotate slightly. Let's get rid of the corner. Lovely. Anything that's distracting. I think we're good. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay. So that's... I think this was in colour. Yep. It's just cropped in and straightened. So straighten this up. So that's basically just what my deal. So it looks like that. So let's just straighten it up a bit and then let's just crop this in. I think I just got rid of this entire right hand side of the frame. So you can't actually see where the direction of the light's coming from. So you can't see the window. Um, so I'd said probably around about here. Let's have a look, see where we were. That was a little bit wider. I did include some of the window before. Okay, let's take it back out a little bit and then just pull the exposure down bit of wall i think we're good to go probably look cool on black and white this shot as well let's have a look i'll stick with color for now i might add a little subject pop just to lift zeynep out a little bit nice okay moving on uh so it's a problem with video you know can i get rid of this let's have a look bit of a pain in the bum let's have a look not the best is it i might just leave it mm, we're getting there let's have a Keep playing with it. Can I fix this bit here? Mm, I might get away with this, you know. I might get away with that. A couple of marks. Let's get rid of these. Right, uh, one up here. How does that look? If I zoom out, there's a tiny mark there. There's a bit of an abrupt end to the shadow, but I think I prefer that to having a microphone. So, let's just zoom out. So usually what I do for this type of shot, I, was, I always just go to the chin, so straight away I would crop down. And then I might crop up slightly as well. Bit of exposure. I think, was this colour or black and white before? Let's have a look. Um, so it was black and white. So let's just, I might keep it in colour. I said I'm quite fond of colour, but every now and again I will do black and white. But it's nice actually going back and re-editing stuff because you sort of just see things a bit differently. Just tidying this up a little bit. Just have a look around the image. A little mark there. I don't mind doing this level of retention <laughs> if uh, if it's going to be my blog images or my portfolio. Yeah, yeah, nice. Cool. I might add a bit of magenta on to that. There we go. Let's add a tiny bit of exposure up here. So before, after. So yeah, it was definitely worth getting rid of the microphone. Nice. Right, moving on. Right, so I hope the exposure a little bit. I'm going to put a subject pop straight away because I know it needs that. It's probably going to highlight a lot of people. So let's take everything away from them. And then it needs magentas. Pull the exposure down. And then I might just 
increase exposure on the entire right hand side of the frame pull the exposure again and then it looks pretty good let's have a look at what it was like before so it was just straightened up and if anything it was probably a little bit green so it looks a lot nicer now we've always got rid of the fire exit signs on the back so i'll do that again I and mean, surely they could put these on the other side of the wall why left to be in shops those photographers so picky let's have a look yeah much better right uh pull the exposure again a little bit nice before after um i might add a tiny bit of highlight pull just on the back here that looks good tiny bit of warmth and let's move on okay so we've got distractions straight away i can see these they'll be going so let's just straighten the image up a little bit just pull this in to about there i would say so let's have a quick check on what it looked like before where we at so it was cropped into about there so nearly identical so that just shows how my brain sort of works it was where i wanted it to be anyway so let's just get rid of this fire exit sign and then because we cropped in we got rid of the black speaker so that saved us a job nice right let's pull the exposure down so obviously jacob's got a lot of window light hitting him so just need to control that put a bit of magenta in there that looks nice do you know what i didn't do on the last one and i know it's got a glass in the door but this light's actually distracting me a bit i wonder if i can just make it look like the other door with a panel Let's see what it looks like might look absolutely horrendous so we might be undoing it oh, it's not bad i'm gonna leave that it just looks a bit it was a bit distracting before it was just distracting my eye um same as these up here really they're distracting me so i'm just gonna get rid again this is most people don't need to go to this sort of level of detail but you know if you want to make your images really sing it's having that attention to detail that was just going to take you to the next level let's get rid of that and that nice gonna get rid of that dark shadow <laughs> so if I, oops, they seem much more of a distraction once i've actually pointed out and took them away you know right uh, let's add a bit of warmth and then I'm just going to pull some of the highlights down on the back of the dress and then it's got a bigger and then I'll just back that off slightly okay before after look at the difference just so much cleaner so if I'd left the fire signs in and the, the lights and the window you know all my attention now goes to Jacob next shot um, again I think this was colour before yeah so let's just increase the dodge so i'm just going to do the subject pop bring it back down and then let's see what straighten does yep straighten it and then it is a bit on the warm side so i'm just going to pull that back a little bit bit of magenta and i think we're good to go there so beforehand this looked like that again it's a bit too cool really um that's probably a bit too much i'll take a bit off there we go that looks nice right next image again sort of a detail of the dress so jacob's eyes are like the shadow of the line on the top which again i'm not a fan of so i'm just going to bring that in a little bit and then was this image black and white or color so it was color a little bit muted actually so it looks much better now so pretty much i'm going to leave that as is i might add a bit of magenta and a bit of warmth so before that was how it was edited before and that's now so it's much much nicer nothing wrong with it before it's just a bit more warmer and in keeping with my current style okay this was obviously cropped in i believe so i'm just going to come up to here straighten up with that painting and then i'm just going to pull the highlights down um Let's have a quick check see what we're, where we were at before so it was a black and white i don't mind the color so i might just leave it like that let's just take off some of the i think what i did initially was a select people jacob and then i think i selected his facial skin body skin eyebrows lips hair facial hair cool so that's his entire head sorted so create mask and it is subtract from a brush off his hand 
and Zeynep's hand. And then I'm sure there was a little bit on her face as well. So I'm just gonna do a little remove from the side of her face. And then we should be able to just reset that brush and then I'm just gonna pull the exposure down a little bit just to control that highlight. So if I turn that on and off, there we go, much better. Blends a lot nicer. So I think what I may do, the background looks very dark because obviously they're further back in the room. So I'm just gonna lift the background up a little bit. There we go, just, just looks a bit more balanced. Nice. Right, that looks good to me. Let's add a tiny bit of pop dodge as a circle here and then just back it off a little bit. Nice. Let's move on. Again, I think this was just colour. So let's just rotate slightly. And then that was pretty much it, I think. Let's put a pop on it. Nice. Bit of magenta. Pull the exposure down a tad. That looks lovely. Let's have a look before. So again, just slightly muted, slightly green. A bit more in keeping with my current style. A bit more warmth and magenta. Right, I think this image looks like, did I crop it much? Tiny bit, but you can sort of see the color is nearly identical. So there's the tiniest of crops. I'm gonna add a bit more warmth because we're outside, looking good. Let me have a drink of coffee, nice. Okay, that's looking good. I think just crop this one in. Let's just add a bit of magenta, it's a little bit of warmth. It's like good to go. So straight away, uh, Zeynep's in the shade, so I'm just gonna do a subject pop. I'm gonna lift that up, and then I'm gonna detract that off of uh, Jacob with a people mask. So I'm just gonna go entire person, create. Straight away, just helps to balance them both out, and I can see they're a bit green because we're next to all the greenery, so it's obviously bouncing that color into their skin tones. So magenta's up, a bit more warmth, and then if we have a look at what it looked like before, so it was like that. So it was a tiny crop, if anything. Let's call it good there. Really nice. That's moving on. So just getting a hug and sort of picture of the back of the dress, really. Um, and I think I'll just make this black and white. Really simple. Let's move on. Again, this was black and white. I love the fact that they were holding hands, but I just think the thumb and the finger, they just look a little bit awkward. Um, I'm just gonna make it black and white. And then I think I cropped out the flowers before. So it was quite a tight crop. I think I went somewhere like that. Did I? Let's have a look. I sort of did, yeah. So I probably went up a bit and then I probably just cloned these stems out and removed that. So it's proven difficult. I might just crop back down. Let's have a look. Just crop back down a bit. Right, happy with that. Yeah, nice. Right, next image, just them two walking. I'm gonna go about there. Just look like it's straightening it up a bit. Just pull that exposure down. So it's obviously very bright here in the back of the dress is right in the sun. So I'm gonna see if I can control that a bit. Just a little bit. So you can see it's creating this line now. So I'm just gonna press Alt on the keyboard and that's to take it away. And then just create a really large brush and we'll just feather that off. I might just pull it back a little bit. Right, so before and after on that little address, and then I'm gonna try and draw the attention back to them with a pop in the top. So the entire top really, because it's in the shade, looks like it needs a bit of precision. So we're just gonna lift that up. I might go beyond a little bit what I want and then pull it back a bit. Bit of magentas, bit of warmth, and good to go. Next shot. Again, I think this was black and white, it was. We could keep the colour if need be, it's good to go, but let's just make it black and white. Okay, group shot, so let's just pull this in, rotate slightly. It's one of the things, obviously that's straight there because we've got this line of the path, but then we've got this fence that went downhill. So to like create an illusion that the uh, image is a bit wonky, so I'm just gonna sort of try and split the difference and try and make it look straight. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Pull the exposure down, um, add a bit of magentas, bit of warmth, pretty good. Let's have a look before and then now. So pretty much identical. Um, probably cropped in a bit more to get rid of that path. So I'll just get rid of that, them bricks. Just pull it across a little. But it looks nice. I'm liking that. 
let's move on i mean you saw me there i've done nothing to this image shot out camera put the preset on add a temperature and tint it is good to go um and for those who are using imagine ai which I won't lie, at the back end of 2023, I started using again and I've uploaded about 16,000 photos so far. And it has learned that basically it just needs a bit of a temperature and tint for my preset. So I can get through my editing even quicker now. Um, it delivered some weddings at the end of last year and there were so many photos that were just so like they were bang on and I never touched them. So if you can get your preset where it doesn't need too much manual work from you, the AI should be able to actually pick it up really well and just run with it. But that looks nice, that. Let's have a look before. Is it like identical? I obviously just cropped in a slight bit and it looks a bit nicer now. So let's move on. This was a black and white. So if I see a couple cuddling, when they're having a look around the tables, I tend to just make it black and white. If you can hear a hairdryer, that's uh, somebody in the kitchen drying their hair. Great timing. Okay, the hairdryer bandit is gone, so let's carry on. So, subject mask onto these guys. And then just pull the overall exposure down a tight bit. Next image. So, we've got these, one of these stupid LED string like fairy like things in the background. So slightly underexposed here so i'm just going to bring this up a little bit and then add a black and white and then i'm just going to crop this in take out zaynep's hand so we're going to go to about here and then just lift it up a little bit it looks a bit blurry there but it's just the ssd isn't plugged in so it is fine so that looks fine um let's go to so i'd cropped in tighter actually beforehand but yeah Go on, I'll crop into a tiny bit more. Let's go to about there. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna add a little dodge around here. Okay, next image. Let's crop down to Zainab. And then again, I'm just gonna lift this area a little bit. So with my preset, if it's not warm enough, I'll get like a little bit of like blue banding. So if I press once on the warm key, See how it just fills that in. So I saw it sort of straight. I know st sort of straight away if I need to add some more white. So a little bit magenta, and again I might just add a more global dodge to this area, and then bring it back a little bit. Okay, so beforehand we had this in black and white, so it didn't really matter. Whereas if I keep it in colour, lovely. Um, nice little shot of them just sort of touching hands black and white beforehand i just cropped in a slight slight bit and you can sort of see they were a bit brighter so i must have just added a subject pop so i'm just going to add a subject pop here lovely that looks nice and then okay next one so let's just have a little rotate of this straighten it up just crop it in slightly i think on the original i photoshopped this drain pipe I'm not sure not sure what it is let's just get rid of it see what that looks like Yep, not bad. A bit more here. Nice. Pretty good. Right, let's pull the exposure down a little bit and then need some warmth. Bit of magentas. So, obviously, the direction of light is coming from the left. Um, Zeynep's face is a little bit in the shade, so I'm just going to brighten it a tad. Nice. Just increase my flow properly. There we go. Nice. And then what I might do is actually just pull a little bit of exposure off of Jacob's face. Nice. Let's have a look. Let's add a tiny bit of warmth into his face as well. That looks nice. Cool. So this looked like this beforehand. Oh, I didn't even Photoshop that bit out. So I must have just missed it. But obviously it's a lot nicer now. Just refix that crop. Lovely. I might just come in a tiny bit more. Looks good to me. Let's move on. Right, we've gotten to the golden hour stuff. So these are all going to be pretty identical, so I'm going to select all of them. And then what I'm going to do is, so this was in before, so let me just go back to one. So the white balance currently is like 5700 plus 39, and that's with the modifications I already put on. This was probably upwards another 10,000 on top of that, so if I go back, 
yeah, we're talking 12,000 to get it to that point. Um, what you'll see as well is, I'm not going to edit these fully because if you look all over the floor, there's like divots everywhere and then white speckles in the air and obviously I removed all of them. So that took ages. So if I press sharpen, you can sort of see they go. So I'm not going to redo all of that because that would be here ages. So I'm just going to press to how they were before and then I'm pretty happy. So if I press color on that legs, yeah, so it's just updated slightly. Pull the exposure, lovely. And that's it finished basically. Um, I've missed one, so I'm just going to go in and tidy that up. But yeah, there's absolutely loads of, if I press the heel brush and then press H, that's how many heels there is on this photograph. So if I hide all them, just brings back all the white dots and all the divots in the grass. So there was a lot of work involved. So that's why I'm not going to redo it on this, the uh, video because we'll be here for ages. Same for these, basically. Divots on the floor, speckles in the air. So if I just go back to sharpening and then just apply the preset. So I'd already done this one. That was done. And then again, let's go back, take out all of the... So before, after, before, after. So fixed the grass. Took out all these speckles in the air. Just takes time. Um, again, look how many there is. So it's just about fixing images and making sure they look their best. Again, just pop that on there. Just so it's up to date. Nice. And then next image. <clears throat> again, let's go back to how it was. Q. And again, you can see there's loads. So I'm just going to put my preset on the top. It's just I pulled some of the contrast out um, when I updated my preset. So it just looks nice and clean. So if i go to where was it here so this was it before just slightly contrast here and a bit nicer and then final one let's go back again q and then you can sort of see all of the different uh, masks so before and after and then all i'm going to do is pop the preset on uh, I'd already done this one, so nothing changed. Lovely. And then that's sort of them. So if I give it a quick look in pre uh, survey mode, and they just work so well together. There we go, it's loaded. Lovely, look nice. And then we've got three photos that were taken for the first dance. So <clears throat> let's finish these off. Just crop this one in a little bit more. And then pretty much good to go, to be fair, on that. I forgot how it was before to now. Nothing changed really. That's what I said. I put my preset on and I've adjusted my white balance and tint, and it's pretty much good to go. Probably the same with this one. Yeah, well, it would have been apart from the geography in the back, so I'll crop that out a little bit. And then let's make this black and white. I'm just going to go a bit higher down the exposure. And then the last one, I think it was black and white as well. It was. So save some time, let's just press that, job done. All right, and again, here's the final set of images. So if I hide me, so you can actually see the full lot, and there we go. So that's the updated Zeynep and Jacob imagery. Again, this will now be exported and the website will be updated with these images. Consistency, and it's about keeping yourself to a standard. So. You know, if you're not looking at the final little details, it's, it's worth doing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloos.